All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to the Rush Brawl. We are playing some Hot and Horner today. Now, Rush Brawl, what's going on here? Well, we got no shields on our buildings. Uh, as you can see here, the entire map is revealed thanks to Insight. And we also have Aura, which is pretty generic. You just sort of pick something to buff your team. And that's about it. Looks like we got a Stukov opponent over here in the last position. I have no idea what I'm up against. This guy has not placed on a single refinery or anything. So I'm just going to put down some grenade cars. And we're just going to send them out and see what happens. Down a little missile turn over here. That'll give our opponent some information as to what we're facing. Uh, let's see. Red. Is this guy red? No, this guy's up here. I don't know what this guy is. This guy has got a Stepman thing here, and it looks like I'm up against Kerrigan. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to get some tar bombs here and some aerosol stim. Uh, let's see. Against Kerrigan, I can dominate her in the air and in the ground uh, if I just build Deimos Vikings, I believe. I believe it's just Deimos Vikings that I can take care of her. Because uh, other than that, like, like she's really got nothing else besides maybe Lurkers that'll mess with me. But Deimos Vikings and Assault Galleons, I think, together... Should probably be enough. So let's just do that. I'm gonna have like my fire, ooh, my aura here. Fire, shadow, or earth? Hmm. Earth will keep my units alive a bit longer, but if Kerrigan builds lurkers, that's not gonna really do much. Against Mutalisk, I guess it could be useful. Um, Hydralisk's probably better to just go shadow or fire. Hmm. Shadow or fire? I don't know. I think because if I want to go for a Daimler Spectre strategy, I just want a wall of lead anyways. Uh, just cutting everything down. So I think the answer will probably actually have to be Shadow. Mm, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not going to be building a lot of small units. So Fire only really works out if you have like, a lot of Marines or like something that hits a lot of times. But I think what I need is this. I think what I need is this. So let's just nab, let's nab a Daimler over here. And there we go. Make sure it's got the shred around. The Amos Reckons actually look so cool. Look at that. They got like some they got like spiky rocket boosters here on the back here. Damn, look at that. It's such a big Viking too. I ain't playing around. Bam! Alright. Let's have a look at what's going on here. We got some diamondbacks. Oh no, I'll be pushing into diamondbacks though. That'll be kinda bad. That'll be kinda bad. Let's see. Can I get out another Deimos though? Uh, the answer is yes. Double Deimos. Let's go. Um, okay, so there's still a bunch of queens. I think he's just trying to heal up Kerrigan. I think that's the strategy here. Um, I probably want Shred Arounds. And I probably want Tactical Jump so that my guys can bounce around. And probably be able to survive a little longer here. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my god. Kerrigan does so much damage right now. Um, I wonder if I should warp my Deimoses onto his back line, and then just blast them to pieces that way. I'm curious. And do we have two Kerrigans on our team? Oh no, we have a Kerrigan Abathur, okay. Okay. I think I should try and warp the Deimoses to the back line. That, or maybe I could just get a Steer Erase. I could just get a Steer Erase, and have them permanently cloaked? Hmm. I can refund. I can refund, but the question is, do I want to? I'm just gonna buy a wraith. Screw it. I'm just gonna buy a wraith here, and um, give it the cloaking. I don't know. I think he might be paying attention here, but that's okay. I should probably place the wraith slightly off to the side here, so that uh, it doesn't take aggro when the Vikings do. There we go. There we go. Uh, now the Steel Rage should be able to do a lot of damage here and kill off Kerrigan. Uh, there we go. There we go. I think our allies the way of staying alive here though really helped out. Um, uh oh. They almost like getting taken down onto the ground. Uh, okay. But Diamondbacks now cannot see the Wraith anymore. Oh no, never mind. It's got close to the defenses now, so you can definitely see it. Um, but we are definitely cutting through here. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a refiner here. Artanis here, coming in with some Archons. Um, sure. That actually worked out pretty nicely. Uh, but, oh my god, feedback on the Queens here, but the Roaches, there's just too many Roaches. The Archons, no matter how much feedback they got, ain't gonna be enough. And there we go, they're out. 
Uh, let's see, there's some Hydralisks here. Okay. Some Hydralisks showing up here. Um, Hydralisks are definitely going to add a lot of DPS to this wave, though, and I don't know if my wave can handle it here. Uh, he still has no detection, though, so could be fine. Uh, I should probably I should probably micro my Deimos so they warp in here. I don't know. I'm just going to go for some more rates here, honestly. I'm going to get another rate here. Uh, it seems like it's working out for me, so... Because his units are just walking right past it. And as long as there's a rate here constantly dinging down our opponents here, and killing off those queens, I am good. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Um, oh, but the Diamondbacks here are just murdering it. Uh, there we go. He's dropping the scan here. Uh, hmm. What if I just refund my Deimos? I'm going to refund my Deimos for now. And I'll buy them again later. Because I know I will need them. Uh, but right now... Oh shoot, I wanted to build a Raven, but I fat fingered. I fat fingered so hard. Um, there we go. Um, let's see. Uh, multi threaded analysis here. The rates already have increased the tax speed by a little bit. That's pretty good. Let me get some of that over here. And there we go. Let's blast away this Kerrigan. Kerrigan is in deep, and she's outside of her queen's support line. And that's going to mean the end of her wave in all its entirety. Oh my god. Let's see. Oh, but the Stukov wave has so many Diamondbacks. Um, Jesus. Diamondbacks are actually ridiculously good against the race because they outrange them and can bring them to the ground. Um, so I probably should get some more Deimoses, but I'll get them back again. Um, but I'm just going to buy rates for now. I'm going to buy rates for now. For now. We'll see if the tide changes, and then we can probably switch some things up again. Uh, maybe get an Assault Galleon to be in the back to drop down some Hellbats. See how that works out for me. You know, yeah, I'm gonna try and build an assault galleon here. Let's go. Um, oh, is that a lurker? Oh, it's a lurker on our team. Nice. Uh, let's see. There's a lot more hydras now. Um, maybe I should have taken the armor. I feel like armor might have been good against the hydras. I mean, they do they do 15 damage though, so I guess the armor might have been okay. But the weights here coming in from the side. Oh my god, and the grenade cars here slowing down the Hydra's attacks. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Race warp back. Race warp back. Warp back if you can. If you can, warp back and wait for the rest of the wave. There we go. Oh, they're getting taken down here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so... I don't know if I should put that in Assault Galleon. I kind of want to. <laughs> I kind of want to. But I feel like I should build more raids, but you know what? Screw it, guys. I'm going to put down an Assault Galleon here. I'll be right in the middle. Um, I'll put down some more raids here so they sort of stream in. Maybe it's not a good idea to stream them in. Maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe I should get like a wider angle here. But I feel like I want them all to come in on the side. Kerrigan here has a bunch of much more units here. I'm going to get some armor upgrades so that we're 1-1. One, one. And these structures getting healed up pretty nicely. Oh my god. There we go. Blasting away here. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta make sure that these guys. This guy does not build any Reapers. I gotta make sure it builds Widow Mines for me. There we go. Black Market Launchers, Executioner Missiles. Uh, here, get that out of here. Get that out of here. I guess you can train some Hellbats. Oh, I did not micro my guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, Assault Galleon's still in the back building stuff, and it, it's currently being kept alive quite nicely. So, if it stays alive. Um, oh, it's staying alive. That's going to be really good news for us here. Um, let's go put down another Astera Raid over here. Uh, Deimos? Oh, no, no, not Deimos. The... Should probably get some Deimos, honestly, to counter the Phoenix here. But the... There we go. The Assault Galleon here, just doing its job. Training up some Widow Mines real quick. I'm going to get them Executioner Missiles. And I think I'll get one middle mine by the time I get there, right? Right? What am I take so long to uh, actually train though? So that's the only issue. Um, let's see. The assault galleon will probably take a lot of aggro though. Um, let's see. Rates warp backward if you can. Uh, okay, the rates are back. Oh god, they're dropping scans though, and I'm, I'm forcing out some scans. That's pretty good. Um, oh my god, assault galleon just going down so quickly here. I wonder if I should just build more grenade cars. Um, the grenade cars don't last like last against Kerrigan at all, so I feel like there's just a waste of money. 
at this point. What if I buy another one? Oh god. I don't know, I, I, I've gotten addicted to buying uh, Assault Aliens. I feel like they're probably not the best idea here though. Like they're a good support unit, but I don't know, they're definitely not a good standalone unit. Let me buy another one of these things here. Uh, there's a bunch of links here now. Uh, let's see, my allies are in three gas. I feel like I should just gas up as well, just so I can keep up and uh, keep holding the advantage. Let's see. Uh, grenade cars definitely are not going to last long here. And Assault Galleon's getting sh torn to shreds here. I think it's probably time to get some uh, Deimoses in here now. Um, let's see. Kerrigan is dead. Uh, but so is one of my Assault Galleons here. But my rates on this side survived. So that's some good news. That's some good news. Uh, this Assault Galleon is still churning out Widow Mines. So that's pretty good news too. I thought I wanted to make some Hellbats too. But I guess it's only making Widow Mines. I mean, I guess that's cool too. I guess that's cool too. I'm gonna put some Hellbats over here. Um, there we go. Get the inf Immolation Fluid. You gotta get that wildfire explosive here, I think. Um, oh my god, look at that. That ah, Abathur Wave is just blowing through here. Let's see. Um, yeah, I definitely need some I need some Hellbats here. I probably need a line of Hellbats and a line of Grenade Cars. Probably what I'll do. Um, should I micro these guys? Let's see. I mean, they automatically link backwards and I'm taking too much damage here. My Widow Mines here are coming in. Uh, these guys have got a good angle here, but I should probably warp this whole squadron here back. Uh, I saw some grenade cars that are still alive, which is actually kind of ridiculous. Um, and my assault galleons are the ones that are still staying alive here. And as I guess as siege units, that's pretty good. Uh, this one Asteria Wraith is the only one left of that squadron, and he's down. It's over. Uh, let's see. They can't quite seem to get to my assault galleons. So I feel like I'm in a good spot to just build another one. <laughs> I'm just looking for reasons to build Assault Galleons at this point. I'm just like, you know, if they can't kill them, then, you know, I can just keep building them, right? Um, so, I feel like I should um, get a second line of grenade cars here. Uh, so I feel like I should just focus on building grenade cars for the next bit, I think. I think. Or maybe I should build some Sovereign BCs. Because you guys seem to really like seeing the Sovereign BC video at other time, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if Sovereign BCs are a bad idea here though, I don't know, because I feel like the Assault Galleons and the Asteria Racer are doing very good, and I feel like Sovereign BCs is definitely not a good choice against all those civs. Like, all those civs are definitely just going to rip the Sovereign BCs apart, uh, and definitely all those Diamondbacks as well. Uh, let's see, Diamondbacks here. I feel like the Assault Galleons right now are doing, they're doing work, they're doing lots of work, and there's three of them now, and... I don't know, I feel like if I just keep committing to Assault Galleons, I, we're going to have a pretty good time. So let's see, if I put down another one over here. Like Screw it guys, we're going full Assault Galleon right now. We're going we're going full Assault Galleon. I got four of these bad boys here. Um, okay, so Artanis' Artan is way finally took down my Assault Galleons here, but the Assault Galleon range is what's, uh, just, which is what's just really good here uh, for us. And I see some Mutalisk here, so I should probably uh, consider nabbing some... Damos Vikings now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mutalisk here. That's a lot of Hydras. That's a lot of Hydras. I think that might be too many Hydras. Although the Widow Mines here are going to get off some shots. Um, and the, the Widow Mine shots are going to be very effective against the Hydras here. But I have mostly Assault Galleons now. Um, they're the ones that are surviving the fight here. I only have one left. Oh god, I only have one left though. Let's see, I think my Greed finally got the best of me here. Um, I think what I really need, though, are definitely to start building some Deimos. Um, to help actually tank the front line, to act as front line, as long, along with these guys here. Uh, Deimos. Ooh, not enough minerals. Maybe I can, maybe I can go for a, a, a mass Deimos pivot and get rid of all my race. I don't know. Mm, probably not. The answer is probably no. To that one. Let's see. There's a lot of lurkers here, though. There's a lot of lurkers. I think the lurker backup here should be very helpful. It's gonna shred most of the queens here. It should shred most of the hydras. Um, as long as we push into them, that is. And let's see. Oh, the hydras rip through the assault galleons really quickly, though. So I definitely need to make sure that. Um, let's see. Maybe I can refund one of my galleons. I don't know. 
because uh, the rates actually are starting to weaken now because there are so many hydras and since there's so many hydras i think it's time to to do the the classic switch let's see maybe i'll sell off all but two of them and let's go let's go baby Oh shoot, did I build everything? Oh no, I didn't build anything. Here we go, let's put that over here. Uh, I'm gonna transform you. And I'll transform you. All these grenade cards here, I'm gonna transform them into that. There we go, we're pushing in here. My avatar ally here pushing in quite nicely. Uh, I'm actually gonna level up to tier 3 now. Got a bunch of Deimos here. I should probably get some wild missiles here for them. Uh, the Deimos should be able to shred Stukov's wave very effectively. Uh, oh my god, big fear coming out here. Um, let's see. Wild missiles, research that. Apparently they didn't get researched in time. Uh, let's see. The two rates being back here I think are still okay. Like, they're not too bad. Um, and my assault galleons are still kicking it. Uh, let's see, so let's go for boom. Let's go for another one of these. There we go, upgrade complete. I want to see if I can get a drone hanger on these guys here. Drone hanger on all of you. Uh, when I get the money. Let's see. I got three, two Assault Galleons now. They're still hammering away at these Dragoons here. That's when you know they've been a good buy. They've just been building units here. Uh, there's a lot of Mutas in the air now. But, uh, oh wait. Actually, Kerrigan's Mutas are, chip, are ripping through Abathur's wave. Abathur has gone for a full ground strategy um, along with the Brutalists. And I think the Brutalists just has too much health for Kerrigan's wave to handle. Because he has like three of them and a bunch of queens to support it. Um, oh my god. Liberators here going down. All of Stukov's small chump units going down as well. And let's see. I have some drone hangers, but not for this wave. But definitely for next wave. We're going to have some drone hangers out on the field. And let's see. Assault galleons here. Getting taken down though. Because we are within the Nexus's firing range. Um, let's see, this guy's just going at this guy's just going at it. Let's see, how many drone hangers do I have? One, two, three, four. We got four drone hangers all outfitted. There we go. Let's see if I can nab some of this. There we go. Now with the drone hangers, my units are gonna have much more much more HP than before. Look at that. 24 kills, 14 kills, 476 HP. That's almost as much HP as a battle cruiser. Almost. Not quite there yet, but pretty close. I'm gonna get some I'm gonna make my units 2-2 over here. Kerrigan's wave is just really, really squishy, and so it's dying off, but the Mutas are definitely problematic, along with all the siege tank support here. Um, but I think I should probably be able to wipe this clean. Uh, Deimos's are landing now, and the drone hangar is starting to show its effectiveness, maybe? I don't know. It's definitely increasing the damage here, but I think most of my Deimos's are going down quite quickly, actually. Uh, but the drone hangar is definitely adding to the DPS that... Um, these big boys have here, these assault galleons have here, and the assault galleons are still alive. The drone hangar damage is definitely, I, th I feel like the drones are definitely uh, paying off here. Because um, they are adding so much added DPS here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put down another one. I'm sorry guys, I just want to build so many assault galleons. Like, they're like a meme unit, you know, you can never really get them to work by themselves, but you know, when they do work, they're so satisfying to watch in action here. Uh, they're still alive here. They're probably gonna go down to the mutas, but I don't think they—I don't think they splash because they're so big. They don't actually—they're uh, not actually vulnerable to mutalisk splash because um, they don't tend to clump. And that's the entire Harrigan wave down, and that's probably gonna be the game for us because the Nexus ain't shielded. And that's it. There we go. Um, we got a nice little switcheroo over here. Uh, as soon as the hydralisk uh, started, the hydralisk count started to increase. Let's have a look at here. Uh, I had 618 kills, actually the most kills in the game. Really? Wow, okay. And I don't, I'd only did 96k damage though, but it's probably because the kill count was high because I was against um, Stukov right after Kerrigan. Um, and let's have a look at the Mineral Valley kill. 57k, that's pretty good. I think this was the enemy Kerrigan. And this is our Abathur, 70k. Wow, I guess that just goes to show how powerful... Um, let's see, the Biomat... Oh my god, there's like a... What the heck's going on here? Um, anyways, there's like a biomass queen, a bunch of biomass queens, and these big abs. I mean, not abs, brutalists. I mean, I think of them as aberrations because they're like not normal, but they're not like abs, the unit, you know? They're they're brutalists. Uh, let's see, 11k minerals, 
And it's not it's not too bad, I think. How long do we have mid for? It was a actually no, it was not even close. We had mid for most of the game. Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later.